Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Now, before I get started on today's topic, I need you guys to do two things for me. Number one, head over to the community tab on the channel and make sure you guys vote for the type of videos you guys like more so that I can create them for you. So if you guys like the vlogs, let me know. Or if you guys like these informative videos, let me know and I really appreciate that. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing I need you guys to do is if you guys like these videos, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Okay, and hit the bell notification on the side. Oh, and also tell a friend, you know, get the word out. That being said, let's talk about the topic of today's video. And that is how to apply to medical school, okay? So let's just jump right into it and let's talk. So when you are an undergrad and you're brand new and you just started college and you have all these hopes and dreams that are soon to be crushed by being a pre-med, uh, you don't realize that there are actually certain classes that, you know, as a pre-med student, you have to take. And the reason why is because medical schools want to see them, okay? So these classes that every medical school requires are biology, chemistry, physics, organic chemistry, math, and English. So these six classes you have to take a whole year's worth of and you have to take them with the lab that is available for the class. Now, once you finish these classes, keep in mind that certain medical schools may require you to take additional classes like anatomy or physiology or psychology, but for the most part, majority of the medical schools do require these uh, six classes for sure, okay? And once you have taken these six classes, you're probably thinking, buddy, I have taken the classes and now I am ready to be a doctor. Well, the thing is, in order for you to show us that you're ready to be a doctor, you're just going to have to take a little tiny exam. No big deal. NBD, folks. Nada. Nunca. Nothing. Actually, it's a pretty big deal because, the, uh, you know, the test is called the MCAT. And uh, it's probably one of the worst and most stressful tests to take as an undergrad, okay? So make sure you guys take this test very seriously. It's going to test you guys on everything that you have been learning for these med, you know, school prerequisite classes. So once you take both of these things, right, you have done your classes, you've done your MCAT, then you're ready to apply to medical school, right? No, buddy. Actually, the thing is that that is not right. You have to also do additional things to your studies. So you're actually gonna have to do additional stuff along with the coursework that you're already doing. So with your, your classes and the MCAT, you actually have to gain experience in you know leadership, in clinical skills, in clinical clinical experience, right? Uh, in in research and in volunteering and blah blah blah. So pretty much you have your extracurricular activities and you have your curricular activities, right? So your classes and your your MCAT. When you have done both of these things, okay, and you have gotten your letters of rec and you are ready to apply to medical school, then you're gonna go and start the application process, okay? Now before I dive deep into types of applications that are out there, I want you guys to understand that I have made a lot of videos on these, you know, these topics in depth already and I'm gonna continue to make videos in depth, but if you guys wanna see more in-depth information, check out the playlist that I've already made. There's a banner shooting up here and I'll get you guys where you need to be for the playlist, okay? So check them out. Now that being said, let's talk about the types of applications that are out there as an undergrad for medical school. So number one, the most common and most, pretty much the most well-known application that's out there is probably the AAMC's application for medical school, right? So the AAMC, if you guys don't know, is the American Association for Medical Colleges. It's pretty much the whole uh, board of things that governs American medical colleges. And that's how you're gonna apply to medical schools, majority of the MD schools in America. So you're gonna use their service called AMCAS, American Medical College Application service and through this service you're just gonna go and submit all the information you need and then you pick what schools you want to go to or you want to send your application to and it sends your application to them okay so you can use AMCAS for majority of the MD schools now keep in mind I said majority of the MD schools yes ladies and gentlemen if you guys are living in the wonderful state of Texas you guys actually have to apply to a different service and that's called the Texas Medical and Dental School Application Service so Tim Das or Tim Desass or something like that. Anyways, 
So in Texas, you have to apply through their particular medical school application service rather than applying to the AMCAS uh, service. Uh, now that's the second type of medical school application that's out there. The third type of medical school application out there is the DO medical school application, right? So keep in mind, we have MD schools and DO schools in America, and that's how you can become a physician. Now, if you're interested in what the differences are, I've done a video on MD versus DO. It's up here, so check it out. But to apply to DO schools, you're gonna actually have to apply to their specific DO service. And it's the same process, you need the same prereqs as an MD school and everything. You're just gonna have to apply directly to the service for the DO schools. And then finally, the fourth type of application service is the international medical school application. You're gonna have to apply directly to these schools. So those are the different types of applications that are out there for undergrads who are thinking about going into medical school. So if you guys like this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification, tell a friend. And also, I'm gonna be posting a vlog next, so stay tuned, folks. That being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys back here for the next vlog real soon. Take it easy, guys.